Hey. <laughs> Chief, how did you feel about your season personally? Uh, man, I felt great about the season, man. Uh, another one in the books. Uh, um, uh, I really liked uh, just being healthy the whole season. Uh, and that's plagued me in the last two seasons. And to get another season where uh, every game I was available and uh, ready and everything like that was a, was an accomplishment for sure. Is it a little unsettling uh, going into an off season not knowing your contract status and all that? Or, or how would you evaluate all, all of that? Uh, no, not unsettling. Uh, I've been a free agent a couple of times now. Um, I understand the process. I understand uh, there's nothing that you can do until, you know what I mean, free agency starts. So it will be nice just to get a vacation. Uh, been a long season, whatever the case might be. But uh, um, it is interesting. I mean, I've been here for a while now and uh, haven't had to worry about it in a couple of years now. And uh, uh, having to worry about it now is a little different than what I'm used to going into the summers. What will you value in making that decision? Um, everything, <laughs> everything goes into making that decision. Um, the basketball, the money, um, the situation, the city, everything like that. So all these different variables that make uh, it comfortable for you in order to play and be able to be at your best. I feel like, you know, happy athletes usually play the best, you know what I mean? Uh, so all around, uh, usually money can make you a little happier. Your situation can make you a little happier. Your basketball situation can make you a little happier. So obviously all those different things is going to be things that I'm going to be weighing for sure. Have there been any discussions with you at all? Have you talked to Neil, or, or what? What has their message been to you regarding that? We haven't talked about it. Yeah, we haven't talked about it. Is Portland somewhere you can see yourself going for long term? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, I've been here for years. I mean, it's the longest I've ever been in one uh, organization. And um, I don't think you heard me complain too much. You know what I mean? It's a great group of guys. Uh, had a ball, um, like coming into work. Uh, that makes it always easier. Um, so, yeah, man, for sure. Do you, do you think you'll wind up being here next year? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, you know what I mean? It would be nice. Uh, I felt like uh, the stuff that we keep on doing as a team, man, it's encouraging. You know what I mean? And I felt like I really want to see this out. You know what I mean? Uh, the team that we just lost to again, man, it just uh, – it's uh it's annoying, you know what I mean. We keep running into these guys, and to be honest, you know what I mean. Uh, I remember watching uh, Jordan films growing up, and he talks about how he felt about the Pistons, and you know when you watch it from afar, and he's just talking about it uh, because you see the end of the story now. You know what I mean. You just think of it like, oh, it's just what you had to do or whatever in order to be what you are today. But uh, going through it in real time, man, it, it's not easy. You know what I mean? Keep going against a team that is at that level that you want to get at and uh, and having to learn what it takes in order to get there is not easy. And now I understand why you see dudes emotional. I used to always think it was weird dudes being emotional after they win and stuff like that. I'm like, these grown men, you know what I mean? Watching them as a kid and stuff like that, like, why are they so emotional? Why is it so, like, everything? And, you know, watching uh, KG say anything's possible, you know what I mean? Like. It didn't seem fake or anything like that. You know, guys are really ecstatic when they get to that uh, to that level, and um, I understand why. I think a little bit now because we done went through a lot of adversity. Even though I felt like we had put some good teams out there, and sometimes just being a good team is not enough. You know what I mean? You gotta uh, learn how to connect all the dots on a lot of different ends, and uh, I think we are connecting a lot of the dots, and uh, just gotta continue to connect them. Chief, you guys have those shooting contests after shoot rounds. Yeah. And I understand Ant won one. Yeah, for sure. First time a rookie. Uh, Yeah, we usually don't let rookies even play. So it was kind of awkward, man. We had a lot of guys go down. We should have really even let him get in there, man. He got he got lucky by even getting in there, but uh, he made the most. Of, that's the kid, man. He makes the most of his opportunities, man. He got in there, uh, even um, even GT won one as well. So that was a it was a weird it was a dark days of the, uh, of the shooting competition <laughs> for sure. That was a couple of dark days for sure. What does that say about him, though? That, that... 
Uh, it says a lot, man. Yeah. Um, them guys, man. I, man, I wish I was the type of professional that they was coming into the league. You know what I mean? And uh, I kind of pat myself on the back as well, just being a good vet and all the best that we do have. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's a two-way street, and I feel like uh, um, you usually see a lot of the guys that are uh, around in this league for a long time. They usually have somebody that they can pattern themselves after. I remember when I went to Dallas. I just learned how to be a pro. You know what I mean? It was just like from straight up and down. I didn't have to talk to nobody. All I had to do was just look around and see what I was supposed to do, when I was supposed to leave the facility, when I was supposed to get there, everything from top to bottom. And I felt like they've been able to see that from year uh, from year one. And uh, just because you get to see it as well, that don't mean you're going to take it in. You know what I mean? We'd have had some young guys that maybe not took it all in. You know what I mean? Didn't understand this, what you're supposed to do. And uh, I appreciate them for listening and uh, being good uh, rookies and everything like that. We got a lot of good young guys for sure. Any questions? Okay, thanks, Chief. Yep, no problem. Thanks, man. Yep, thank you.